the whole Brett Favre saga, which will go on for a few more uh, weeks, I think, uh, the biggest problem with it is that neither side really knows what it wants completely. The Packers are not sure if they really want to get rid of Favre, or they certainly don't want to cut him. They might be willing to trade him, but they'd have to get something close to full value. And how do you get full value for someone like Brett Favre? On the other hand, Favre wanted to come back to the Packers, but he wanted to come back as a starter. Well, he gave up that job. So my feeling is why not have him come back and compete for the job? He'll certainly beat out Aaron Rodgers for it, and then would be the Packers' starting quarterback again. And I think that could satisfy most people. But the way things have been handled by both sides, they may have burned too many bridges. We might wind up seeing Favre not coming back at all because the Packers won't relent and release him, so he won't file his uh, papers to come out of retirement. Because if he does, he has to report to the Packers, and he could wind up as a backup. Of course, he's a $12 million backup. I think that's a scenario that should have played out, that Favre would have said, I want to come back, and the Packers would have opened, well, had open arms and welcomed him back. And I'm a little bit surprised that didn't happen. But what also has gone on is that Favre felt he was pressured by the team to give them an early decision. The last couple of years, he waited on his decision. He waited beyond the draft, in fact, one year. And the Packers were putting a little pressure on him, apparently, to make a decision. And at the time in March when he announced his retirement, he just didn't feel he could commit to the game fully. Now he feels he can. And uh, I think the Packers are being a little foolish here in that uh, they're steadfastly backing a quarterback who's totally unproven. And obviously quarterback is a very important position. This is a team that was one game, in fact an overtime loss to the Giants from making the Super Bowl. And with the Giants beating the Patriots in the Super Bowl, who knows if the uh, Packers might have uh, won that Super Bowl. So to think that they would shove aside a, a future Hall of Fame quarterback like Favre for an untested guy like Rodgers is a little strange. On the other hand, they feel that maybe Favre isn't all that um, committed to coming back for, for very long, and they believe that it must get started with Aaron Rodgers. It's a very difficult situation that both sides have made even more muddy, and it's not going to have a pleasant ending, I'm afraid, unless one of them backs off.